back to another episode of Confessions of a Gamer Girl. My name's Doom Cutie and I'm your host and with me we have our lovely panel Ellie. Hello, hello. And Shay. What up everyone? Oh, and our first guest for 2024. Tika, welcome. <laughs> hello. Yes, you're darling. Hello. Uh, thank you for having work. me. <laughs> Oh, it is an absolute pleasure to have you here. Um, Amazing. <laughs> uh, I was, thank you. Mm. I was bopping to that intro. I was. Oh, thank you. Yes, thank you. Absolutely. Vibe. <laughs> every um, week. I'm, I can't contain my shoulders. Every, every week. Yeah. You, I really. Okay, sorry, okay. That wasn't just me. All right. Nice. <laughs> okay, just so, I've been like, oh, yeah. I, I would really love the podcast to have its own, like, song so if you if anyone knows anyone or if you are a person who does that kind of thing uh get around it get around it gamers because uh yeah i think that would be really cute and amazing um different setup today uh we (laughs) it's hump day thank goodness and it's all it's all downhill from here until (laughs) the the end of the week um but we'll start with our Amazing guest. Um, Tika, what have you been up to this past week? What have you been playing? What are you what are you doing, babe? Ooh. Tell us. So this last week I have been well into playing Skull and Bones. Um it just is, this week. Just this week. Just oh. this, for a lot of weeks. For a, for lot, a lot of weeks. weeks. For a lot of weeks. But this Including week, that's the only in game Singapore I've <laughs> on a pirate ship. Um, yeah. Just living my best pirate life. <laughs> oh, definitely. <laughs> Yeah, but I actually haven't played any other games if you don't count Solitaire um, because I did play some Solitaire. Uh, but, yeah. I know Solitaire. you exist on yeah. Solitaire. I know that is your fuel uh, for life. <laughs> yeah, so you actually know I play that. Um, <laughs> if like uh, rest. Your rest, your relaxation yeah. game. Um, yeah. I was just going to um, let people know that Shay and Tika have been friends for Ooh, Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Uh, couple now actually i think we're going yeah. on two two years two yeah we'll have to find yeah. our friend anniversary i was just thinking yeah. that friend anniversary <laughs> yeah love it so, i just don't yeah. know what it is oh well oh. i mean my camera's gone that's great <gasps> dude come back miss you. you it's okay i'm still here oh, oh, okay. okay okay acceptable <laughs> we can we can draw a picture and we can stick it yeah. stick it there yeah. So, Tico, like, am I out of warranty now? No, like, absolutely not. No? You, lifetime okay. warranty. Lifetime? Oh, <laughs> champion. Love it. Yeah, no, it's lifetime cool, you know, warranty. Right? I'll just, I'll break one day and you'll be like, sorry, I, need, I require a new small gremlin, <laughs> um, a little raccoon, and they may just actually send you a raccoon and be able to upgrade, upgraded. An version. actual yeah. one. Fluffy. Yeah. You need the rabies shot, so be careful <gasps> with a raccoon. No, no, the, the rabies is a, is a, is a, it's a function. Not, it's not a bug, it's a function. <laughs> So it's oh, a positive perfect. addition, right? Perfect. You send it after your enemies and yeah. you're like, oh, yeah. I need some solutions and I feel like this one can't be traced back to me. What are you going to do? She's a raccoon. They'll never know. They'll exactly. never know. 
Would there needs to be? Is there a game where you can attack your enemies with rabies? Um, <laughs> we, we should make that. We should develop that because that's amazing. Yeah. Because, do you know, yeah. also, fun fact about raccoons is a lot of them also have rat lung worm. They're called oh. rat lung worms. Yeah. And that's why they can be like, they can be like really dangerous for humans. So that's your fun fact. This today. is what it's happens when I leave. <laughs> You've got a few seconds and we're on raccoons and rabies again, I swear. Yes. Uh, <laughs> I warned you. We need adult um, supervision. Um, we need adult clearly. Adult. Yeah. Um, yes. Um, and who says raccoon? Raccoon. raccoon that's way. cute. Raccoon. Raccoon? It's raccoon. raccoon. I mean, raccoon, raccoon is raccoon. also a way of saying Leviosa. Raccoon. Not Leviosa. <laughs> <laughs> Potato, all right, all right. <laughs> <laughs> okay, fantastic. Thank you so much for sharing your news uh, with us today, Tika. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> all right, Shay. What have you been up to this past week? What have you been? What have you been playing? Well, um, yeah, no. Like as I mentioned before, um, went to Masters today. Had a full group of women for Masters. That was sick. But Love what have been playing? Oh, so proud. Um, but yeah, no, uh, for what I've been playing, um, I may or may not have sacrificed my mental health again and played some more League of Legos. Um, <laughs> nice. Uh, I love, love this. That. You're going to think this is peak, right? So obviously uh, in streaming, you come across some very unpleasant people and, and for the most part, you just ban them, you move on, not a stress. And, and honestly, you forget because why wouldn't you forget? Um, these people found me in game remembered me remembered how to get back to my stream now keep in mind my league name and my stream name are not the same so they had to actually remember my stream that they have been blocked from they got back and stream sniped my game that's how uh, it and they were in chat the whole time and they lost uh, oh <laughs> oh go Shay, go lost i was like and i was on a lose streak too okay so like there was no excuse, okay? I just, oh, sorry. It was just a highlight of my week. I was like, how do you stream snipe and lose my men? <laughs> I'm just, I'm so but sorry. Isn't that like perfect though? Isn't that like oh, sweet yeah. justice? It's like, this yeah. is what you get. <sighs> like karma is my boyfriend. Like sit down. Like, oh come on. Oh my God. I just, I was, oh, I was concerned at first. Cause I was like, wow, they're doing so well. And I think I know those names. They're, why do I remember those? And then they said a few things in chat. And I'm like, oh. Oh, I see why. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. So had they previously come into your stream and you had, like, or like on your chat and you had banned yeah. them for inappropriate behavior? Yeah. So I, I had found them in game previously. Like they were just in a team and they were uh, incredibly toxic in the game. Okay. Like I think they were pulling out the sexism card, you know, all the fun stuff. Um, and mm -hmm. then they followed me back to my stream to continue that behavior. And I'm pretty sure. Have, oh my god! Yeah. yeah. Do you have something that says like TTV or Twitch or something? No. That they knew, um, or? But I put my link in before the game starts, just for like my team, and then I put it in afterwards because sometimes right. I find some really nice people, and I want to be yeah. friends with yeah. them. And then sometimes Aww. I find, you know, that that's really <laughs> nice. Uh, yeah. Uh, but is that always way we that? You don't let them spoil your fun, though. It sounds like you're mm. like no. It was a. It was a. <sighs> Like, it, yeah. I had a chuckle and a half. <laughs> of course. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm glad uh, you could uh, react that way. Um, mm -hmm. It's fantastic to see because some people really lean into that and then, you know, just, you know, don't <gasps> feed the trolls, guys. Don't yeah. feed the trolls. No, I will not give them the satisfaction. Not to mention, <laughs> I'm so touched that they remembered me and they decided to add to my view account. Like, okay. Exactly. Oh, thank, thank you. you. Yeah, yeah, amazing. Yeah, oh, yeah. It is. Thank, thank you. you for adding... Uh, <laughs> Yeah, boosting the algorithm for me. Love that. I'll take it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, how was your week, Ellie? Ah, <laughs> uh, I've been still battling um my nineties Lara, but I'll have you oh, know, you thankfully, I've got a hang of her now, and we're swinging on chandeliers. When yes, unaliving tigers, we're <laughs> swimming, we're having a good time. Um, I so I finally. Engaging. <clears throat> Sorry about it. Um, <laughs> I'm finally um, having a really good time with it. And it, it was a massive learning curve. Uh, my review is going to be coming out this week, just basically saying learning curve. Don't think you're getting on this game and relaxing. You've got to work for it. But once you've been, 
this probably sounds awful, but once you've been playing it for a couple of hours, you you really get into that groove and it's much like any other game. Um, but I'm not used to, this is, sounds so privileged and modern, but I'm not used to manually saving. And so yes. I originally got rid of oh. all of my hard work and then I had to get back there and I saved, saved, saved like my life dependently. If I knew I was going to stuff oh up God. a jump that I had to climb back to, saving it. Save. If I knew I was meeting a thug, saving it. Like I ain't, I was not shy with that save button. So but I'm glad I Pokemon. finally, yeah, <laughs> I finally got the hang of it and that's, um, that's all that matters. So I'm very, very happy this week. Good. Um, I think uh, whenever you find uh, lots of like health, ammo, resources, that kind of thing, if it's all in one place and like the music starts to change, that is when a boss is coming. All right. So just uh -huh. save then. Okay? Save. <laughs> like, save. oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> Distress save. Yeah. That was me before I went into gym battles uh, in Pokemon. And then I'd win against like one person. I'm like, oh, save, save, mm -mm. Yeah, save, mm -mm. save. Mm -mm. But then, <laughs> um, but then in some games it's uh shamed upon like with um uh boulder's gate in boulder's gate if you like save before you start a fight and then mm -hmm. you can like restart the fight and change if it doesn't like turn out in your in in your favor so yeah people oh. people don't people don't like that oh people no, can it's fighting. just smart playing yeah it's just smart playing <laughs> yeah. well that's Using what i it think to your advantage yeah. Tactics. yeah yeah i <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes honestly like we said as long as you are having a good time that is all that matters exactly. um, you should never yuck someone's yum oh too true that yeah. saying always makes me think of vomit and i just can't <laughs> Oh. <laughs> oh no. Oh, How does that make you feel? What? What because of yuck? Like yak. I don't think you yuck. want me to explain this on uh <laughs> I hope I'm everyone's got a strong tummy. I don't know. No, I just I don't, remember. Don't explain. No? Don't explain it? Okay. That's fine. <laughs> don't explain it. That's fine. No explanation. Oh. Just that's, that's what it makes me think of. Thank you. How about you, Doob? How's your week been? What do you be Thank playing? You. Oh, get away. <laughs> yuck, yuck, yuck. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Um, so the game that I really wanted to uh, finish at the beginning of this year was um, Metroid on um, Nintendo Switch. Uh, oh, so yeah, I've been I've been playing that. That's been really fun, um, and I'm I'm preparing my body, and my daughter is also preparing her body for the launch of a Princess Peach game. So. Oh. Mm. Yes. Mm -hmm. You and need some quick wait. grab snacks and uh -huh. some water bottles. Yeah. Yeah. The yeah. fridge. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. Maybe have some fruit, just, but like chopped up fruit already, you know? Yeah. Hydrolite yeah. in the water. There's no time oh. for normal water. Hydrolite. The ice blocks. <laughs> yeah. yeah. The hydrolite ice, ice blocks. Yeah. 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 Uh, so, is it. so good at this. Metroid Dredge or the OG Metroid on Switch Online. It is the OG one. Mm hmm. Exciting, exciting times uh yeah and outside of that um i am very proud of my minecraft education coding class um because they are kicking goals they are doing amazing um we are using um uh, make code uh, bricks to to uh, code our little agents um and we we learned to move our agent up today oh so hell yeah yeah, yeah so and yes yes love love that it's all about like and I've just introduced like the language to them so it's all about you know sequencing and and all of that so the kids just yeah the, I, I, I had one little boy come up to me and he was like miss thank you so much for uh teaching us minecraft and I was like, oh, sweet. I'm not crying, oh. you're crying. Whatever. Go away. <laughs> <laughs> Little beauty <Fighting. gamers. laughs> Like, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Yeah, that's nice though. It like it like just makes it even more special like mm. what you're doing. Like you yeah. love it. And then seeing others like love it as well. Yeah. That's mm -hmm. nice. How old are the kids you teach, Doom? Sorry, I haven't asked. Oh, um, well, the school that I work at, um, we have kindergarten to year 10. So, oh, cool. and I teach science from year two to year 10. And then I teach digital technology to year ones. And 
the four five class. So damn, so they're quite little. Yeah, it's like yeah. Oh yeah, it's oh. everywhere. Yeah. Yeah. All um, different year levels. I've um I've taught I've taught like up to like three subjects before, sometimes four. Mm. Um, because that's just how it is. Like most people know that I live rurally, so mm. uh the teachers have to have uh mm. many, many skills. So mm. multi teach. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> um the question in the chat, uh, did you manage to get them to stop changing the game uh, <laughs> using the cheat menu thingy? Uh, so the settings within Minecraft education are pretty strict and I have control over everything. So um, the only thing that I found is that some of my cheeky little monkeys last week uh, decided that they were going to go in and change the game mode. So from uh, survival to creative. Uh, and in creative, you can just spawn whatever you want. Um, and I was like, no, no, we're not doing that. Um, if you'd like to do boring worksheets, we can do that. Um, I can teach you coding like that. Um, but no, no, this is not happening. So, yeah, and no one did it this week. Okay, they're like, <laughs> so, no, please, no worksheets. Yeah. <laughs> please, no. Uh, and, well, I, I'm, try I'm trying to, like, not bribe them, um, but I uh, – hold on, someone I'm reading in the chat as well. Creative is the best. Um, my server has separate worlds for creative versus survival. It's good fun. Yes, oh. creative is good, Um if we're all together mm. and um yeah i can limit kind of what they can do and i can spawn i can spawn on them i can like see what they're doing um yeah it's really really cool i'd like to uh, point out here that we've got a comment saying uh just hit him with the it's your lunchtime i didn't need to be taken uh, back to that period of my life sir or man oh wait okay oh god no <laughs> don't you doom you don't do the clappy thing do you what clappy thing I'm not doing it. No, no. <laughs> Wait, oh God, no. No, 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 no. no. Why I, eyes on me? I don't want to be here anymore. <laughs> I'm upset. To we did. Uh, we didn't have that. Really? Uh, we had the silent. We just had the silent stare. Like I wait. I love that. Like the teacher was like, I wait. We were like, okay. I was <laughs> way, way, way too gossipy. Okay. Okay. Yeah. okay. Not paying attention. <laughs> with the with the little with the little kids, <laughs> oh. they like waterfall. Shh. And that, oh, that's what they do. Yeah. That's cute. And oh, then yeah. um I'd listen uh, to that. The mm -hmm. older primaries, we do flat tire and they go shh. Oh, so they shush themselves. There yeah. You go. That's a hack. Yeah. 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 No, no claps. No claps, but okay. there is usually a um hand movement or ha hand gesture for it. Or I do like hands on heads, hands on shoulders. Yeah, hands on chins. Yeah. I love the style difference in our teaching because obviously, like you know, you, you you handle children and you know they get rowdy sometimes. It happens. Shay, uh, I handle adults do that in your classes. Oh no no no! <laughs> oh my no. god! I go oh, full I Australian. <laughs> I go full Australian. I'm like oi, um, and that works really well because please keep in mind I'm 163 centimeters and I look like this, um, and I'm up the front looking real little, and everyone's like da 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 da. -da. I'm like oi, and they're like, what was that? And I'm like, okay, no, you cool, know what? Like, you jump like, yeah, <laughs> I'm really glad we can uh, everybody. One, no, no, one <laughs> thing that you can do with adults, and most adults will know, is mm. uh, you just you just stand and you just raise your hand. Mm -hmm. and then oh, yeah. They all, and then they're like, why are you raising your hand? And it's like, oh, <laughs> and it's a really, stop. really subtle way of doing it. Um, mm -hmm. with, the, with the high schoolers, <laughs> I just go five, four, three, two, oh, no. one, two, one. Uh, but this, this is actually a uh, it's a practice of high impact explicit instruction. So oh. it's when students have it's it's a way of encouraging um, non optional like they can't get out of participating. They have to listen at that point. Uh, so so yeah, it's um, oh. yeah nice techniques. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes. Ah. <laughs> uh, Good times teaching. Anyway, uh, yes, <laughs> what I was going to say is I try and I've tried to bribe them with got these badges made uh, on I can't remember um, and they're little like pixelated um, Minecraft things. Oh, I yeah, would like to be bribed. 
Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I each each lesson I've been a walk because I only see them once a week for eighty minutes. Um, so I select two students every week to give them two. Ah, collectibles. It's smart. Mm. Gamers love that. Yeah. Future gamers. Exactly. Is it uh, like scouts? Like where you got to like achieve oh, a certain thing a to get like a specific badge? <laughs> uh, well, I wish I had enough because they were actually quite expensive because I ordered them from the US. Uh, there's oh. three types. So, okay. Mm-hmm. There's one of Redstone, mm-hmm. there's the agent, and then there's a cube. And it's like um, it's got a pattern of like the world the earth on it that's cute um, yes i don't have them here because they're at school but maybe i'll bring them next week or i'll post a photo yeah. we uh, need a uh podcast show and tell yes <gasps> yes uh-huh yeah, that would be cool. speaking speaking of show and tell <laughs> yeah, that is an incredible segue because oh ellie uh is going to uh did, did you bring your news i know literally just as you said that i was like do you know what i forgot Oh, oh my, no! I know yes. what. My I'll find. Now. I'll find one online. Okay. You I'll, should I'll do find, that. Mm-hmm. I'll find from. I'm from actually. Dolly. Yeah, that's a great idea because j- yeah, finally. Tell you us the that. story. Like, <gasps> the story. Tell us the story. What happened? How did what you happened? Of just forgetting your, in general. Did your mom just not want to give up the magazines? Was she like, no, sorry, they're mine now? Yes. Well, like, catching okay. up anyone from last week, I admitted that I have a milk crate, so you know the big plastic crates, full of Dolly magazines because I used to collect them and I absolutely loved reading oh. them. They were absolutely amazing. And we were talking last week about we have the – there's heaps of quizzes in that. And I was like, oh, my gosh, I'll bring them next week. My mum has been, like, begging me for, like, a decade to please get these magazines out of my house. And I was like, oh, my God, today's your lucky day. Um, but it wasn't. I lied because I forgot. <laughs> Uh, I've been playing too much Lara OG. So that's definitely a mission that I'm actually going to have to do this weekend and bring us, yeah, bring us a quiz because those things, especially from like, you know, 2009, Mm -hmm. they hit. They absolutely hit. You'd follow down and. Uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, the, the yes and no ones. Yeah, they're yeah, just like yeah. like you know what sort of girly gamer are you or whatever. <laughs> yeah, that they have. based your whole life off of it. Like this is me. <laughs> <laughs> it was totally our personality, and we all know for a fact that they were so generic. But we just had to know what sort of high school are you? Am I preppy? Yeah. Am I a jock? <laughs> like you just. Oh, I've got the best one. Oh, no. I've got a great one. <gasps> Oh my goodness. Okay. How <laughs> gaming over. Gamer yes. has failed side quests. To be fair, um I, I don't know if how many side quests Ellie goes on. So, you know. She we're talking um, real life, we're talking in game because the distraction gene is real mm. <laughs> on both. It carries over. <laughs> mm. mm-hmm. How do I? I'm just I'm just trying to figure this out chat give me one moment uh there is a way to um i'll like get it up right here over mm. there. without it going over the top of us can so in the anything. uh in the meantime Dika, hello good man. let me ask you some generic Oh my god, she's gone. <laughs> nope, you ask nothing. <laughs> oh, oh, that's oh, right. no, I'm just, I'll just never ask a question again. That's my bad. Uh, I, yeah. I was going to ask you some fun questions about streaming. You know like... what? I, wa- I was going to ask you something actually, um, mm. which I will yes. try and do um, at the same time as uh, okay. fixing settings. Um, first of all, <laughs> it's the Jewish. <laughs> I'm sorry. This is the most unhinged episode ever. And he's like, get out of my way. That, that's, that's good because that's how I live my life um, and my streaming life. So it's, it, it works. Okay. Tika, why don't Hi. you introduce yourself to the chat? Because some people might not know who you are. Tell oh, yeah. them a little bit about what you do, uh, what your passions are, and mm-hmm. um, uh, some of your goals for 2024. Amazing. Um, well, hello, I'm Tika. Um, if you say Tijka, totally fine. I'll say hello, what's up? 
Um, I am primarily a Just Dance streamer. So that's how I began my journey on Twitch. I love dancing. Uh, before Twitch, I was a dancer. So the segue into having dancing and gaming just became like ultimate passion and a hobby for myself. So it's been awesome. Um, have been recently falling in love with Skull and Bones, as we talked about at the beginning of stream. Um, it's newly released, but I finally found like a sit down game that I completely love um, and can enjoy while I'm healing from all the dancing. Because if I dance every day, mm -hmm. I'll get way too sore. Um, so it's good to have another game that I just like gives me good soul vibes as well. So yeah, mm -hmm. that's what I do do. Um, recently moved to Melbourne from Western Australia. Um, I so know. This is why I have, I left you all. I'm so, I guess, you woo, I, I'm sorry. WA is beautiful. I want to retire in WA. It's, um, it's gorgeous. Um, but yeah, the, um, just wanting to get more involved in the conventions and all of the uh, events that Melbourne has. And it's already been so amazing. Like I'll walk down the street and there'll be a drone show or like just some sort of water feature. And I'm like, oh my God, we never get this in Perth. Um, <laughs> so yeah, so I've just been starting to like set up and this is so far I have this. And he's, he's the, yeah. the nanos, they're holding on for dear life. <laughs> uh, but this is my setup so far. <laughs> <laughs> just, just a blank room. You know oh, what? They're doing their best, and we really love that. They're really trying. There was, a, them. there was a picture, but it fell down, and I was like, "Oh, oh, it's gone." Yeah, it's just not happening. Do you have week. a um a favorite Just Dance game? Because I understand that they release is it they release one every year, or do they release two every year? Uh, they release one. one every year, which will be the base game of about forty to fifty songs. Um, and then throughout the year, they'll release two to three songs every season. So we'll get new ones so we can keep our learning up. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, so there's a lot of songs to learn every single year. And there's also the online subscription where you can get the backlog of the rest of the songs. So you've always got hundreds to dance to and, like, go back and relearn. Um, so, yeah, it keeps the brain going, which is great. Yeah, Lots to learn. But, <laughs> yeah. And do you have a favourite <laughs> song that has your favourite choreography or just a favourite oh. beat in general? Just a, so it changes every day, um, <laughs> <laughs> depending on the mood. Like I've really fell in love with, it's called Boom Boom Tom Tom um, from oh. 2019. It's very like hip hoppy. Yeah, Boom Boom Tom Tom. <laughs> da, 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 da. Um, and the background is just reminds me of like 90s. Um, so mm. it's just got like patterns and stuff. And I'm like, oh, nostalgia. Um, but yeah, anything, anything. I, I love them all too much. <laughs> it's not one that I like completely hate. Like I even like Rasputin. I'm sorry, Just Dancers. I like Rasputin. Mm -hmm. That's <laughs> I love that yeah. song. <laughs> it's a fun song. Uh, it's fun. It's hard. Mm. Like your I imagine, yeah, the knee strength. I hope your cartilage is in good shape because yeah, not getting up to down that there. Oh boy, <laughs> <laughs> so far so good. Your cartilage, yeah, <laughs> hasn't gone yet. But like we can 3D print new knees these days, right? Right. Oh, I could yeah. just get oh. a new one. Like close enough, really, if you think about it. And I mean, who needs knees anyway? What have they ever actually done for you? Yeah, apart from <laughs> clicking black when we bend down. Yeah, exactly, <laughs> alerting my enemies that I am near. Okay. Mm. Mm. Uh, freezing when we try to get up and causing pain. No worries, <gasps> easy. Yes. But yeah, but no, we just gotta. You just gotta keep on stretching. So that's another added added thing. Like I love stretching, anyways. Um, but before and after a stream, especially just dancing, just make sure you stretch. Otherwise, mm. if you sit down and eat straight away, you are not getting back up, and you'll be sore oh. for three days. That lactic <laughs> acid oh. build up. Yeah. So do you stream <laughs> every day, or have you got like a more of a regular schedule? Um, so before I moved, it was about four times a week. Mm -hmm. Um. And then since the move, I've only been able to come back about once a week, but I've only um, been here uh, about five or six weeks. So I'm still, so I pretty much just like one day decided to just leave um, and just started over here. Uh, so yeah, just been slowly getting back into it, but I do want to get back to the spot of being four times a week. So yeah. Nice. Yeah. I love it. In. Do people yeah. dance with you at home? Like, do you think they that they're grooving do. or? They do. It's really, it's so wholesome. It makes me so mushy. Um, but yeah, I'll have uh, community members be like, okay, wait, I'm putting this song on as well and we can dance. And like, they'll tell me their oh, score. And I'm like, oh. 
yet. Yeah, so I love nice. seeing the chat go wild. Everyone's in there with the dancing Tika memes. Like any dance emote from anybody else's stream is in there as well. So it's just people going mental in the chat, having a good dance. I yeah, love it. just partying and having fun. And just like the Just Dance community is so wholesome um, and supportive. So like we encourage emotes from everyone's stream. Like if they have a dance emote, spam. Like mm -hmm. Twitch doesn't like spam, but in a Just Dance stream when the dancer is, like when the streamer is dancing, we want the dance fam. It's like a party. <laughs> wow. Yeah. 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 Can't complain when there's a party on Twitch. I'll say that party. much. Party. Mm. Yeah. Just need some more party lights. Like, oh, wowzers. Can... That color scheme. Oh. Look at this. This is great. The color scheme of the font. Yeah, man. It's <laughs> BFF me back. material. Okay. What makes you BFF material? What makes oh, you goody. BFF material? Find out what your besties love about you. It's my ability Ooh. to pass on rabies. Hey. hey, I love it. I love a bit so, of rabies in the morning. Uh, Why we're friends? Talent. Exactly. Okay. It's not because of streaming or games. Rabies. <laughs> yeah. All right, settle down. <laughs> Quiet down, or I'll have to do a a clapping thing. Okay. Oh God. Uh, so <laughs> this is from this is actually from Total Girl Magazine. Uh, Total Girl Magazine. Um, oh, the the reason. <laughs> Total uh, Girl. Wow. Yeah, total girl. Uh, so the reason why this is uh, a thing for this episode is because last week we were talking about how, like, women in gaming, we've been gaming since, like, this. Like, this This is gaming. Yeah. Like, it doesn't seem like a game, but it is. Uh, so, so yeah, uh, we thought we'd bring along uh, one uh, this week and we can do it. Um it does have American spelling and it's very blurry. Um, so I'm trying to like lean in. Okay. Um, so we're starting off with uh, your mum lets you host a sleepover. You make sure to bake cookies beforehand or set up your games and crafts for everyone. Games and crafts. 100%. Games and crafts. I and have crafts. a weakness for baked goods. I was the person where if you came over, I'd made like Mars bar cupcakes and shit. No way. Oh, we all want to be Shay's friend. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Take me back. <laughs> Tika, you'll, you, you, have, you, you can't eat gluten. I could then. I don't want to poison you. <laughs> all right, do oh, okay. majority rules. So go. Yeah, me majority. And crafts. Yep, yep. Crafts okay. Crafts and games. Okay, uh, in your group of friends, you're the girl who is good at solving big problems or is always cheering on all your BFFs. Both. Ooh. Yeah. I hold the Lulu enough to think we can solve stuff. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we go. Um, I'm always cheering people on, like, even if I don't yeah. know what they're doing, like, if I don't yeah. understand, like, their yeah. career or anything like that. Um, you, by the way, you can go, like, either way. Um. Like you don't, we all don't have to be unanimous, surely. Uh, I, I reckon no, we're a single just, just for, yeah, we are one. Mm, but I agree also, like, I'm happy if you're happy. If someone is passionate about something, mm. I'll be there cheering you on. Like, I'm like, Hell yeah. Yeah. yeah, you go. I know nothing about that car, but you love it. So I, I love, love it. that for you. Like, it's yeah. a red and it goes <laughs> broom and you're very happy. So let's do it. Yeah. Yeah. No, I'm, I think, yeah. All right. The people, yeah, yeah. we'll go that one. We're supportive girlies, what can we say? Yeah. Uh, if you got a BFF award, it'd be for being Absolutely. the world's best back. secret <laughs> keeper or always having your friends back. Friends back. Back. Secret mm -hmm. keeper. I know. The <laughs> oh. And I don't oh. tell a soul if I'm not allowed to. Oh. Mm, I'm very good at that. Nice. Nice. Uh, I'm, I, I'm pretty good at keeping secrets. The um, secrets. Yeah, I mean, my yeah. mind's automatically went to what if the secret was dangerous? Like, as in, like, if it was a secret that someone should know for safety and stuff. I don't know why. That's just where my brain went. I was like, if someone <laughs> told me something yeah. and yeah. it was to do with safety of themselves or someone else, mm. I would dog. Mm. Yeah, oh, like, yeah. Yeah. I think, I think and I don't know why my brain went there these days. <laughs> you were like, you can't be black and white. I got to know. Yeah. I was like, mm. what is the secret? <laughs> I, I <laughs> And I'm right. just thinking way too much. <laughs> having your friends back sorry right. so obviously we're very encouraging we're supportive we love it and we're going to support you all the way to getting your petty revenge i will yes. be there for you i'll make the cup of tea as we bury the body i don't mind i will have i back. will i will Ooh. support you even if you're a delusional girlfriend i am there <laughs> i'll support you to a therapist but i will support you 
<laughs> okay, let's go with uh, having our friends' backs. Mm. Yeah, uh, we will help you uh, uh, bury a body, apparently. We'll shave it anyway. <laughs> I got you. Shave uh, <laughs> Bring the, the illegal <laughs> stuff I was talking about. Now it's become one of those secrets that, I, that I'm dobbing. <laughs> what? No, I don't know where we buried it. It doesn't matter. <laughs> I don't even remember. Like, exactly. I have memory. You know, that's how supportive I am. I'll just forget all your, all the bad stuff you've done. Yeah, I, I can't tell you secrets if I don't remember them. <laughs> Problem solved. <laughs> <So true. laughs> okay. Oh, no. If your bestie is feeling blue, what do you do? Uh, I'd give her a pep talk to lift her spirits or give her a huge hug. Pep talk. Pep talk. I'm not, not everyone hugger. likes hugs yeah. and not. Sometimes you just you can't, you know. Mm. Yeah. I'm not gonna lie, I do break ribs with hugs. <gasps> and people seem to find that quite comforting. Yeah. Um it's like I don't know. The, the stimulation thing. It's like the um the nervous system. It's meant to be mm. good for your nervous system to like constrict mm. yourself. Yeah, because so. you know, like you're stressing out and someone just comes along like ah, I got you, you're together, you're fine. It, yeah. What do you think? Do your fight or flight is person. lying to you. Hmm. I think I I think the um the other one, pep the talk. Uh, pep the pep talk one, but also um after the pep talk you give them a hug mm. if they want. Mm. Yes, if, if they it, want, yeah, if it calls for it, yeah. <laughs> pep talk is not optional, but hug is. Oh, mm-hmm. okay, okay, yeah, mm-hmm. makes okay. sense. So apparently, we give great advice. So nice. that is our results. That's what makes us at Confessions of a Game Girl BFF material. Uh, friends who friends love that you're their go-to girl for words of wisdom. No matter what your bestie is dealing with, you know just what to say to lift her mood. She can talk to you about anything. Heck yeah. yeah. You heard it here first, everybody. Okay. All the advice I've given thus far, it's correct and perfect. That's why you come here. Enjoy. <laughs> correct <laughs> and perfect. <laughs> I wish you the best of luck. <laughs> Good luck, everyone. Every part. Nice. Wow. Yep. See what I mean? Like those quizzes, you start thinking like too hard into them and that's yes. why you wanted to know about them. That's why Ellie collected all of the magazines. That is it's why. It's a really the good re- like reflection tool because like obviously yeah. they're silly but then it's like mm-hmm. you think about it and if you've never backed up your friend or never cheered on your friend you're going to go straight away oh i'm gonna have to fix that that's a yep. bo- that's a bad that's a boo-boo um yeah. so yeah like i feel like it's a good reflection tool as well i that's i cool. agree wholeheartedly mm-hmm. uh so not only have we been gamer girls for that long we've also been a mindfulness girlies since then so mm. i all I'm saying is, you know, you might have knocked them or you look back and you think it's cringe, but I think it was one of the best things about um, magazines um, mm. back in the day. And there's not enough of them. Mm. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to share that over on our Twitter if you guys uh, want to <laughs> take our <laughs> BFF <laughs> quiz uh, and uh, hopefully you'll uh, you'll post uh, what you got in the, in the comments and, um, yeah. Love to see it. I wish I could edit it. I wish I could edit it and just put on like a little additional string of just like cursed things. I'll get <laughs> Maybe you can make a cursed loud. one. What well, are you a spooky yes. girl? How to oh, how yeah. you know? Yeah. Oh yeah. Well, oh, you know. just, yeah. I, what yeah, type of spooky? You, There's different yeah. spooky. Oh, oh sure. Sure. No, like Which Wednesday. Is... Yeah, yeah, but like are you a Wednesday Adams or are you like a like um Freddy, you know? This is, it's oh, different. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Is it? Are you the subtle, mm-hmm. quiet destroyer or are you the, the loud one that will haunt your dreams? Like, exactly. Or, yeah. It's a different style. Always the latter. What kind of spooky mm-hmm. gal are you? Yeah, oh. yeah. Are you the fun little ghost that is just lost and doesn't know what's happening? I don't know. Oh. You've got to find out. Chaos always. Yeah, chaos. Chaos. <laughs> At least here for I chaos. <laughs> I love this comment in the chat. I can tell you I got stuck at question one and I'm not a BFF. <laughs> oh, well, that's the reflection, you know. Mm. Uh, it's reflection time. It is. But, I mean, next thing, do you want to be a BFF? Like, yeah. You don't it's have not... to have a best friend. Yeah. 
Or so you could be alone people in the graveyard. And hey, be spooky. that kind of spooky. <laughs> like a gargoyle. Mm. Like, <laughs> oh my goodness. Uh, we've. <laughs> Video game podcast. <laughs> we play games. We did. Yeah, we did play. Yeah, we did. That was the game. Yeah. Totally. Yeah. yeah. All right. Moving on. Well, um, a quick point on that, actually, uh, yes. relating to games. So obviously, we just went through and we read a bunch of text and we chose an outcome. There's games that do that those are text-based yeah. adventures yeah, and yeah, they yeah. are some of the earliest games like digital games that we have they had them in book form of course and you could choose your own adventure that way but you know we have them in text-based stuff now dating sims that's all that is um oh. some really really just like wonderful text-based adventures that you really get into and you learn the characters and that kind of thing so despite the fact that it does come on a different platform and a different medium it is still a text-based adventure yeah and that's where it's it's uh, transformed, originated from. Yeah. Like that's how it began, and then it became a virtual game. It became mm. what we see on our screens now. Yep. Yeah, Definitely. that's my favorite set of games. Is they're all um, do, choose your own adventure games. Like all of the yeah. Dark Pictures anthology. That's all you do oh, is you know yeah. basically just pick which way you lose your crew. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I mean, no. it's survival, yes. but is it though? Is it? It's and a loose time. I, yeah, and I actually quite love that because I'm sure all you ladies get the same question, but I get questions from people being like, if you're not a confident gamer, which means you can't look around and aim at the same time, mm -hmm. what game should I play? And that is some of the most frequent co like conversations that I have and the most common answer I give is those sorts of decision-based games. So I, mm -hmm. I always pick Until Dawn because it's just my favourite game ever, but yeah, yeah. the fact that your basically your action is just choosing where you want the story to go and your decision to create this linear narrative that not every single game mother has played that game gets so you get to share your own special adventure which is quite uh, beautiful when you're a new gamer but mm. it's really low pressure because all you're doing is picking you know left and right like you don't really have to aim you don't really have to run you're not doing those conventionally pressure field games you're yeah. doing something more relaxed and I think that that's um it's still considered like quite an intense game but not mm. in the traditional form of point and shoots or adventure games where you're running and climbing and grappling it's yeah. more keep your friends alive and that yeah. in itself is stressful mm. <laughs> yeah it well, is it's just well, a different genre and yeah, that's well, fine there are so many genres and we just it's the story-based games love absolutely love yeah yeah. Get so into them and you can just play over and over and over again. And it's so different every single time. And um, yeah. like we have in the chat, the, there's the remaster. Um, there's also the movie, which, you know, it's very uh, touch and go with film and video games, as we've discussed prior. But the remaster for me, as it, like I said, is my favorite game, is something that I'm so excited for because they're adding little tidbits that's not necessarily taking away from the original. It's adding on top of. Mm. Um, and it's also utilizing modern technology to bring it into the modern world that's nothing like, not hectic like, Lara Croft's back in the day but it's something <laughs> more that revives the game keeps it fresh keeps it cool keeps it young if you will yeah. and it gets more people into it and I just I can't wait yeah. for that because I just want to hear everyone who can save people and everyone who is like me and kills everyone my bad yeah <laughs> destroys everyone <laughs> whoops <laughs> whoops no nice. she says evilly uh Apparently, Witcher Three is a decision-based game. So, oh, and Dishonored. Dishonored is yeah. Okay. And yeah, uh, Mass Effect and Fallout, decision-based games. That's crazy. Mm. Yeah. Um, nice. Love that. Okay, Shay, what have you brought us this week uh, to chat about? I brought us Tika. <gasps> yeah. Well, Hello. Yes, I, <laughs> I know. I know you did. Was there anything in gaming news this week that I uh, spoke to you? Hmm. Gaming news this week? Not really. In all honesty, I'm not going to lie. I haven't kept up with it. So okay. for me well, personally, I, hmm. oh, well, I have personally. One. Oh, you do? <laughs> yes. 
Oh, sure. Would you like to go? That's cheating. What's cheating? Oh, okay. I was literally just going to like ask Tika about her um her process for streaming. Like that's really oh. what I'm interested in. Oh, yeah. Wow. So it's not quite news. Well, I mean, I think it's news, but you know, <laughs> um, I'm the cheating. I'm the news that's cheating. I, the... I brought show and tell. I brought a Tika. So oh, yeah. 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 Tika, quick, just I'm just, just I'm just hands. Shay, you're introducing <laughs> some uh some new kind of uh formalities around the show. Um, Am I? We might have to talk about this later because that doesn't. <laughs> I'm kidding. Um, oh, this funny. this week, I have seen a lot of people in the streaming community. They have been very, especially in the ANZ community. They have been incredibly oh. disappointed with how Twitch ANZ marketing has been handled, um, and obviously recently you know we spoke about this on a previous podcast with all the layoffs and um a couple of creators have been speaking out about it and some people were talking about how they've kind of they've let the um twitch grassroots uh what's happening with that haven't heard anything I've been yeah. wondering about that because I myself applied for it. Nothing. Haven't heard zip. And oh. I was very intrigued about that considering a lot of people get really excited about such an awesome program. And for those who don't know, essentially uh, it, Grassroots is a program for smaller streamers to get time on the Twitch main page. When you look onto Twitch and you see all the little streamers at the top, um, Twitch ANZ yeah. pops up. Australian and New Zealand creators you can apply for it people can vote for you and that ended what two months ago now and a while ago um, yeah yeah and I I'll give it to them they never specified when they were going to announce something but you would think Mm. I think it was like January 8 where it ended you would think within January at the very very least there would be some communication on it and there hasn't been zip i would have loved anything just like hey guys thanks so much for applying you know we'll get back to you as soon as we can because it's obviously a big job they've got to go through a lot but no it's it's really disheartening i applied for this one as well and um and the last one actually and it it can be really difficult uh both for grassroots but also even some of the conventions i apply for to just not know and some of the conventions don't go back to you until a week or so beforehand and i don't know about you guys i have to fly into state of that's course. not happening a week uh, Hello, Perth. Why do you think exactly. she moved to Melbourne? Exactly. Yeah, that's... No, Tika's got the right idea. We're all moving <laughs> in with Tika. But um, same for the you... grassroots, you know. You've got to prep for that kind of thing. That's going to be a week mm, on the front page. Course. You want to make sure you've got content. You want to make sure that you are yeah. free for that week from work commitments, any sort of appointments. Like, yeah. you mm-hmm. need that warning. The prep yeah. time. Yeah. Mm. And was grassroots where you could um, put in nominations for streamers, you thought? Yeah. Yeah. So I loved being like, so if I, if I saw anyone be like, oh, nominate for me for grassroots, I was like, absolutely. Cool. Like, mm. I want to help hype. Yeah. And it was really nice just to be able to do that for others. Mm. Yeah. Uh, they're actually, I, I did want to share the actual update that there is on this because uh, I know some of you, some of you might not have. Yeah, I might not, not have seen anything. Uh, so the, I will put the link in the uh, chat. You can find it there, but I'll, I'll just read it. Um, so this is a response to a person on Twitter named Just Shads. Um, and he made a tweet saying, we just want a Twitch ANZ that tastes like real, mi- real milk. I mean Twitch. <laughs> So many changes are happening down here and it feels like it's making it harder for creators in this part of the world. RIP to Grassroots Creative Week, LGBTQIA Week, NADOC Week and so much more. Broken heart emoji. Uh, And then someone by the name of Lewis Mitchell uh, is the APAC content director for Twitch. Um... APAC is the uh, agency in which Twitch's communications is going through now. And he says, hi there, appreciate the frustration, so wanted to clear up a few things. Number one, uh, the ANZ Partnerships team is now the EAPAC team, EPAC, Uh, as we are servicing English-speaking Twitch-based partners based in our time zone, not just based in ANZ as it used to be. 
We are working with HQ to find new ways for certain programs to continue. We also work out what they will look like, but keep the heart of the program. Example, initial graphics for these programs were hot garbage. I made them myself. I don't know what he meant by that. Um, I, I thought that meant, does that mean like, like they were good? But hot garbage? No, no, they were bad. They were, they oh, were no, like, bad. They were oh. famously like flaming bad. Um, yeah. It's like when I call mm. myself hot garbage at leak. It's not... Oh. It's not a compliment. <laughs> you have to teach me the terms. Hot garbage. Oh, garbage. Oh, got on fire. Yeah, yeah. I was like, does it mean it's good? And it's stinky. Extra bad. Yeah. Extra bad. Okay. Uh, this round of grassroots is still going ahead. We are just working out the work streams as to the selection process and how to announce this to the community going forward. Uh, the TLDR of all this, I don't know what that means. Too um, long, did too not read. Too late, didn't read. Oh, was it long? Oh, was it lazy? It I mean, both no, work, too long. Didn't read. Both work. Yeah, too long. Didn't read. I thought it was like too oh. lazy. Didn't read. Like I didn't read that because I'm too lazy. Give me a summary. <laughs> uh, we don't want to pick up work streams with less local bodies to execute just because of good intentions long term. That will lead to burnout and lower quality programs. So we need to be sure we're capable of following through at the expected levels. Mm. I mean, I won't That's lie, so they've sad. kind of dropped the ball on that because as soon as that sort of thing, because my understanding was the um, nominations ended and then they were probably going to be monitoring a lot of these accounts that got nominated. And so I was putting my best foot forward with my content and like pushing myself because I'm like, they've probably got an eye on my account. Yeah, yeah. Sure that everything goes well. And then you know, you get to a point, it's it's not always fatigue, but it can be fatigue. I've run into a busy point in my life. So I haven't been able to keep up with what I was doing. And I purposely put it aside for after grassroots had closed. And so now it's like, well, okay, so when are you going to be, you like, we should at least be told when we're getting um, scrutinized over our content. Because like you were saying, Shay, like, if I know someone's having a look or, you know, trying to achieve something with my account, aka maybe getting me the position in grassroots i want to put my best foot forward and i want to show off and with twitch where it only holds your streams for two weeks there's really not much room for you to either make oh. error or be sick one week like you mm. really have to be on top of things so i think that kind of like is really disheartening because it's like okay so i've just got this phantom person maybe watching me maybe not like when do i know that i have to reboot everything that i've been doing like we're all busy we need we need more heads yeah. up it would just be yeah. nice to know so you didn't have that pressure. Yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah. And then to be honest, something I did actually see. Um, so, Doom, what you've said with, you know, this particular issue, pair that with the increase in sub prices now, um, yeah. especially yes. for Australians, which was announced before we were actually awake, which is just great timing. <laughs> like, it's not going to stop me, and I wouldn't imagine it's going to stop Tika streaming either, but it – it certainly makes you feel guilty being like, hey, guys, support my channel for like $9 now when we have yeah. a cost of living crisis. Um, yeah. It's, thanks, it's, guys. It's too high. Like yeah. we can't even afford you know, Netflix for 15 a month. Yeah. Like it's just there's so many yeah. subscription services. It's really hard to ask $9 a month. Yeah. I don't sub to things for $9. Like, And you have to pick yeah, and choose that and you got to make yeah. sure like you're a casual streamer. So I only stream once a week. And that's a lot of money to to ask my followers to give when all that they get from me is one stream a week. Whereas someone like you, Tika, if you get back to your four days a week, that's, yeah. much, that's less more bang for their buck. And if you split it up, mm. that's less money per stream than they're paying $9 just to see one like one or two you know it it yeah. gets pretty crazy and, and you're right it is a bit cheeky on our end to be like well come support me and it's like okay but I'm trying to support my family with that yeah. sort of money and like now yeah. coffees are costing like eight bucks like everything is just going up Man, and entertainment I'm the is price of cheese <laughs> cheese oh, so please. I'm oh, cheese tr I'm lactose free cheese price I want you to know that okay oh like, I'm lactose free is cheese price yeah. yeah, it's like I'm eleven dollars for this much. I know, like yeah. you get to you get to sniff it a little bit. Maybe you'll taste a spidge. Not much though. Yeah, and it'll be five bucks a sniff. Inhale, five fifty. Yeah. But don't worry, you get the moat. <laughs> cheese. <laughs> <You're kidding. laughs> no, cheese is a luxury. But yeah, I feel bad because I want the community to like. I want us to still remain 
a nice community and like I don't want anyone to ever feel pressured into subbing it just you Mm -hmm. know just makes it harder I think at the end of the day as well like the best way you can support a creator is to share out their content Mm -hmm. and if you do want to uh give them monetary support give them a tip that is when you can Um, yes yes make sure you're that way inclined yeah look after yourself first always and then if you want to help a tip yes yeah Uh, so yeah if you have decided that you know you you want to you know only use let's say your your uh prime Mm. sub the free one that you get Mm. uh well it's not free because obviously you pay for it but the bonus one that you get uh with that plan um and then outside of that you'll tip when you can, I think that's probably a better way to support these content creators moving forward. Um, but yeah, just just doesn't feel this news just doesn't feel Good. right. Mm. It doesn't feel yeah. it feels still a bit icky. Uh, mm. So I'm um I'll I'll be interested to see how it how it unfolds moving forward. Yeah. So Ellie, we'll wait and or, see. Yeah, yeah, if you guys get any updates home. or anything, yeah, because mm. I feel for like the ANZ workers that are gone yeah. now and like, yeah. oh, but yeah. Some of them hopefully. still aren't, aren't re-employed. Um, yeah. Because, yeah, it's, it's really, it's really competitive out there. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, anyway, so yeah. that was, uh, yeah. that was my hot news. Uh, yeah. For the week. Mm-hmm. Um, should, it's good. Everyone, another way to support, it's just in my mind, you should watch their YouTube videos. Like this one. Yeah. Like this one. You know? Yeah, watch the and, you know, it doesn't. <laughs> it, uh, it doesn't cost anything to subscribe to us, um, by the way. Well, that is genuinely um, something that's fantastic. Like having people mm. actually go and follow your social media, even if you don't have to, like, you don't interact all the it's time. Free. See a dumb mm-hmm. picture, go, oh, yeah, you look a bit goofy. Do a like, scroll on. It's yeah. a good time. That's yeah, because right that's there. what I do when I troll the, in- <laughs> the internet. Oh, this guy looks goofy. Oh, I like literally, that. I get on my Instagram, right? Like, oh, yeah, dude's being cute again. <laughs> yes. Solid. Oh, Tigger's doing cool shit. Excellent. Oh, Ellie's <laughs> looking adorable. Nice. And then I continue to look at cat pictures <laughs> and some raccoons. Yes. Okay. You know, I've got my feed. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Uh, I do think people forget that um, a lot of that sort of stuff does really help and is free. Like if you look on a lot of your views as opposed to your likes, there's a vast difference with a lot of things. And I think people like, oh, you know, one like, it's just, it's just me. Like it doesn't really make a difference. But mm. if you think about it, if a hundred people are thinking that, that's a hundred likes that it could have been on your post supporting you. And you know what comes from that is then brand Brand deals. Exactly. exactly and so it's not the small it's not the little guy that's that has to support it we're not asking joe blow to like all right fork out 50 dollars for me <laughs> that one like plus everybody's one like then yeah. gets the attention of really cool brands and like you know what we'd love to work with you and then that snowballs someone's career so mm-hmm. you're really just kind of high-fiving them as they go on their marathon and then mm-hmm. they might at the end you know get to work with cool companies yeah mm-hmm. That's really absolutely, yeah. yeah, absolutely. <laughs> sure. And then that's how you, that will eventually financially support someone because the sponsors mm. are paying the streamer. Mm. It, like, yes. yeah. And, and they can afford it. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yeah. Because the they know. Great, they, well, the thing is they, they know the power of uh, micro, oh, sorry, was it micro influencers? Yeah, that's apparently uh, they, what they're called now. Yeah, yeah, micro and macro. Yeah. yeah. Science, mm. You know, <laughs> Yeah, so we're are we are we that? What's we're, the smaller one? Is it micro or macro? Micro, micro. Okay, yes, micro. Yeah, Although Tika um, might be slightly larger. No, st- I think from my quick Google, they still count yeah. it as under like ten thousand followers. It's under ten. Still yeah. Micro. Yeah. If you're under ten thousand, then you're micro, we're, and then we're just all babies. Oh, just oh yeah. Babies. <laughs> just I don't. I don't have no money. I'm just a baby. <laughs> I I wish, right? If I was just a baby, no bills for me. Okay, good. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Just snacks. Oh my god, lactose free snacks. Uh, Yeah, I hope. You guys, I just want to say we have 599 subscribers. So we're nearly there for 600. It's gonna be 600. Who wants to be six? Is that? Oh, it's on YouTube. Quick, guys, get on your alt accounts. Let's go. You know you want to. Yeah, do it. (laughs) You don't alt. Who? Wait, do people have alt? No, no I actually only have one YouTube account. Yeah, I've only got oh, one. I, 
I have two. So I've got my personal and I've got my like my oh yeah public one. But oh. people will jump on my stream Quick, and they'll just have got their normal name, right? And then they've got yeah. definitely not insert name. And I'm like, yeah, gosh, I wonder who that is. Mm. And they're like, oh, I'm just coming like, here to them. offer an opinion. No, oh, not at all. They're being funny. It's like it's like Dave coming in. I've got a follower named Dave. Um, Dave. And he'll have yeah, no, just Dave. He's absolutely. Uh, I love how you say like Dave as if we know who you're talking yeah. about. Um, it's Dave. 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 Not, I love Dave. Actually, to be fair, right, Tiki does know who Dave is. Yeah, I was like, <laughs> is, is that Dave the lover? Yeah, yeah, you met Dave. <laughs> but he'll, he'll jump on his old account and just say some sassy shit. It's a good time. That's so funny. Dave. Um, oh my god, Do- Dolphin Pants. <laughs> his second account <laughs> that he made. Dolphin, you did, yeah. Hey, Dolphin. the chat. Oh, Dave. <laughs> Oh, we're at 600 yes oh my Woo! god everybody we got some some cheers y'all are on your way to a thousand oh did you god. say cheers shay or did you say cheese because i heard cheese and i'm gonna have i heard some cheese. cheese you know what i, I said cheese, cheese. But can i switch it to cheese cheese mm. i like to switch everyone support us by sending cheese thank you <laughs> colby is my favorite mm. oh, colby. Mm. lactose free please oh. thank you <laughs> How are oh. we talking about subscribers and cheese at the same time? <laughs> this oh, episode has yeah. been wild. We're multitaskers. multitaskers. Yeah, yeah. You got two ADHD which is what we it. learnt from gaming. Mm. Yeah, yeah. No, you, you okay. got the two spices. I feel like I feel like I'm still at work. It's, you're making me work for it these days. You can't put it today. together whether or not you separate uh, in different quarters. This the is classroom. the last time I uh, make a suggestion. Uh, sorry, I let Shay make a guest suggestion. Uh, I think Tig is a wonderful guest. I'm just a terrible nuisance. You know, it's not Tig, it's not. That's me. <laughs> this is me calm, actually. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> um, I have – oh, someone in the chat is asking Ellie um, – How's your cooking adventures going? Mm -hmm. Yeah, if anyone's been following me on Instagram, the last two weeks um, I've been cooking from this one cookbook that I have because I hate cooking. I hate it. I get angry. I swear. I keep threatening to do a Twitch stream about me rage cooking because I just swear at bacon and tomatoes. I don't know what it is. Um, So I kind of challenged myself to make some recipes and I've been posting on Instagram because I think it's been fun and um, it's going good. It's going good. I've been working a lot um, of the evening, so I haven't been home quick enough to make dinner before I get too hangry. But this weekend, mm-hmm. I'm going to be making some things. Uh, I just made some wontons which was from scratch, which was really, oh. really cool. It was really, really cool. So I'm very proud of myself. So damn, cool. yeah. Was a taste tester. Oh yeah, I'll um I'll mail them on over to you. Just Thank ignore you. the mold, eat around it. And, well, um, I mean, considering, degree. you know, the, the standard of living at the moment and a lot of Queensland homes, it'll fit right in, really. Um, right I'll in. just blend it to the wall. It'll be fine. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So that's that's my weekend plans is a bit of gaming, but mainly cooking. So I'm, I don't want to say it ill, but I'm excited for it. Ill. <laughs> well, cooking. <laughs> because yeah. we are, uh, because we are um, great advice besties bffs uh, it is true we took a test <laughs> finally your test it ends is something good yeah. <laughs> um to kind of before before we start to finish off the the episode um together there is a question that i have for you while you maintain composure gather yourself uh what does it mean uh, by um, being part of, uh, like, being managed, like having your brand managed. So your um, it's wild, part right? of legacy, legacy yeah. management. What what is that? Did did what happened? And what is that? Yeah. So legacy legacy management, amazing, amazing human beings, very supportive. Um. So being a part of it will be like um, they will help you. Um, reach out for sponsorships Um, and if they hear of anything because managers will reach out to a management um, like Legacy and then they'll reach out to me if it's something that I'm interested in. So it kind of, they do the reaching out both ways to um, brands and then brands will reach out to them instead of individual creators. So it's just kind of like helps in a way to to fast track it from brands and yes, it's 
yeah so it's really it's really cool so they'll just kind of send me um any information it, to see if I'm interested. They will also ask if I want them to reach out to anybody. They're just super supportive, um, even if I just want any advice or information. Um, yeah, so instead of a brand messaging me directly, they'll message uh, the management. So they'll message Legacy. Yeah. And they can like. That's cool. Yeah. That sounds That's like really... it would take a lot of your plate. Like it does. It definitely. Instead of having so many message pops up, pop-ups, trying to sort out which ones are like scams and which ones aren't. Yeah. Like, yeah. That would yeah sounds genuinely good. <laughs> it's, it's really nice because yeah, you just they they do the filtering for you, so they'll mm. they know what I like and what who I want to partner with. So instead of getting like the random ones where it's not going to be me, like a shooter game will reach out. I'll be like, oh, that's not for me. Mm. Like, yeah, they'll mm. just filter mm. it for me, so I don't have to see it. Cool. Yeah, yeah. it's really and it's like, wild though. I'm like, what do you mean a management team? Me? <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah, no. They're, they're amazing. Do they, so how does it work? So let's – do you pay them or do they take a percentage? Like a commission? Is it, mm. Yeah, so that, some of them work differently, but it's like it's usually commission-based. Ooh, that's cool. Yeah, yeah so okay. a lot of management teams, it'll be commission-based depending on what, what the brand is looking for. So they're really yeah. invested in you succeeding because then that means, yeah. you know, they succeed as an extension. They succeed. Yeah, 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 yeah. exactly. But yeah, you definitely got to make sure that you vibe with um, a management team that 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 you connect with. So you don't want a management team who's going to look for like makeup brands or if you're not mm -hmm. into the the makeup scene kind of thing. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Well, Sweet. amazing. Yeah. Uh, that's that's really cool because I see a lot of people are partnering uh, with um, management teams like Ace Creators. Yeah. Um, yeah. Has done a recent. Um, uh, onboarding like TikTok. Of, for TikTok, yes. Yeah. Um, so TikTok, they're working with TikTok to get creators onto the platform uh, to do more streaming on the platform. So uh, that that is another kind of management team. Uh, yeah. If you guys are seeing that, um, and yeah, I just I don't know. I've I've never. I've never can considered it because it's not something I do full time. But I think if I was mm. a full time content creator, yeah, I probably would. Mm. Yeah, um, if you find someone who you vibe with, absolutely. Um, yeah, and I, I see Ace Creators on TikTok as well, and they look like they all vibe together so well. Um, yeah, and yeah, yeah. So it's really nice. So I'm guessing like TikTok would reach out to just um, Ace Creators, and then they'll reach out to the creators that yeah. they work with to see who's interested. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's they the actually. Man. Just well, well, they just did like a public call out. So, yeah. Uh, so, yeah. But um, I tried, I, I wanted to go live on TikTok for the podcast because I thought that would be really cool. Yeah, but you need yeah, to do three. No, yeah. you can get a special code. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, you can get a but special you can't code, get the a stream code. code. Until you do something, until you go live a different way or something. I don't know. No, there's, um, the you can upload. There's a thing, apply to go live. It's on the web version of TikTok and you can go oh, in there yeah. and um, you can put in your code. Uh, so, yeah, you don't need a 1,000 followers if you do it that way, but you're signing a mm. contract to stream at least three times a week. Okay. Oh. On TikTok. Well, I suppose, you know, those streams don't have to be the extent that, like, say this podcast stream is or, like, a, no. um, a Twitch stream. I've seen some people who genuinely, um, there's a T-shirt company that I follow that's actually managed by an artist. He'll jump on because he just needs, like, prompts. He's like, all right, guys, we're jumping on. Yeah, I yeah, yeah. Prompts. And, you know, he'll do a couple oh. of sketches and pop off. I think it, it could work. Like, let, maybe you did, like, get ready with me's before streams. Yes. Or something those are like really that. popular for streamers. Or, True. like, yeah. I don't know, uh, Let's cook cook dinner or something and have a chat. Rage cooking. Um, yeah, I was like cooking. Uh, Ellie. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh. uh, sorry, it doesn't, it. I mean, unless unless they want you to play certain games. Um, but yeah, I would I would mm. assume that it's yeah, something like that. But um, like I said, um I looked at it for us, but obviously we don't go live three times a week. Three times. Um, yeah. It's mm. hard. I could replay mm. the episode. 
you could but also we could do little like depending on if we can get to the account you know we could do funny little things i mean i could uh have my adventures distributing rabies ellie could have her rage cooking <laughs> and you could have just triggering classroom things that like yeah. clapping and hands up and <laughs> waterfall noises like the, a- no, the asmr role. kind of like you know how the yes. um, people do the mpc asmr yes Keep oh my ASMR. God. Like, Tov, you are my class and I am your teacher. I s- no, because then people will cry. People will just, they won't go to scroll past because they'll be busy crying. No. Yes, <laughs> no, work, people though. love to watch things that make them angry. Like, I watched this oh. chick, like, pretending to be, like, uh, like be mean to s- someone's uh, girlfriend and, they're, like, the guy best friend. Anyway, it just, oh, watch I it hate it them just ones. makes you... But I still Ugh. watch them. <laughs> I know, I know. It's just a video. It's just a video. At the moment, the one that's coming across my feed is um, the person at auditions that you absolutely hate and they're just so arrogant and rude and they're like, oh, what are you doing here? I love the way you sing. Like they just demean you and I'm like, it's just a video. It's just a video. Ooh. Mm, I'm getting a lot of them. like Reddit mm-hmm. stories, am I the asshole? And, um, yeah. Oh, and you can through them? I, what, the trouble yeah. is they're quite addictive and I'm like, please I, stop coming off all my I feed. Get. <laughs> that's all I get on my feed at the moment, Shay, is like that, mm. like, what's the scariest thing you've ever experienced? Like, I get a lot of those ones. And I'm like, oh, come on, man. Well, if you we're insist. Just, we're just trying to make ourselves angry, aren't we? Like, mm. mm-hmm. we could yes. scroll. But, mm. Maybe... It, look, if you guys keep going this way, you'll we'll end up sinking our cycles, and no one wants that, especially out here. <laughs> no. no, if you think about it right, you get all the bad stuff out at once, and then it's all good. Then it'll be good. Funny. No, although, although positives. I, we we haven't had a fight on the podcast yet. Oh, oh are we allowed to do that? Ding, oh ding, boy, red corner. No, don't. Red corner. Shame. Um, gosh, controversial <laughs> opinions. Um, oh gosh, uh, the, the celery is evil and lame, and um, what's that other one? That tastes like garbage. I agree with that. Um, oh, okay. That wasn't very fighty. Be I'm sorry. I'll try again. That tastes like no, dirt. No, that the coriander. Coriander is heinous. Uh, uh, it's rubbish. Uh, I'm not. Oh, okay. Well, pickles we'll are anyway. great. There you go. Oh no, That's pickles are oh. Mac is pickles bad. Normal pickles not so bad. <gasps> what? Do you know cucumbers are pickles? Yeah. Yeah, Gherkins. they ruined them. It was sad. It's like when you turn a grape into a sultana them. and you just ruin no, tomatoes no, I are I fruit. Love them. They're fluffy Tomatoes and fruit. I did used to eat them like an apple, so I that's fine. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> See, it's like, oh. <laughs> it really has is seeds. It has seeds inside. Yeah. Yeah, yeah true. But, true. Yeah, but true. then so does cucumber. I love cucumber. Oh, Cucumbers. stop. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> We've upset the guest. Oh, no. <laughs> I'm leaving. <laughs> I'm leaving. She's like, I don't know why I agree to this. I'm, I'm not coming back. I am leaving. I'm quitting. I quit YouTube. I quit Twitch. I uh, the game right anymore. We've exploded her brain. brain. Oh, <laughs> My whole life's been a lie. My cucumber life is a lie. I think he's going to turn off the camera and just... <sighs> just one of these. Like... <laughs> All right, we got to get out of here. All right, we, <laughs> okay. We could we could talk forever. Um, mm. uh, but yeah, thank you all for having me. It's been yes. great to just kind of like, yeah. I know we weren't like super serious into subjects, but it's been great to just kind of like chat as gamers and sharing yes. experiences and how it, it you know it always does correlate with our gaming life in real life. So yeah, thank you all. I appreciate it. Oh, you are so totally welcome. And um, despite my earlier comments, um, Shay, it's okay. You 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 can invite people, but I must vet them first, and you must behave better next time. Uh, well, I have like another guest. It's definitely not Tika. They're very similar looking to Tika, but they have a moustache. I was gonna say it's Tika with a moustache. I mean, they look. No, like no, it's not Tika. With a it's not. Yeah. Wait. Wait. <gasps> Oh, they, they oh, no. oh, look, they appeared. <laughs> this is not it. Okay. Um, <laughs> Tika, what are you up to uh, this week? Um, <laughs> any news you want to um, tell So up? this week I am continuing my Skull and Bones adventures, um, but mm-hmm. I'm also working hard outside of, um, like, gaming to get my setup ready to return back to Just Dance streams. Um, hey, so that's, woo, that's the goal. I, I miss dancing. I miss streaming Just Dance. Yes. Um, the season one has already started, uh, <gasps> so I'm late. Um, so yeah, that's that's what I'm going to be working hard on uh, ne- this week coming up and the beginning of next week. So just yeah, getting back into the dancing. 
Yeah, and Tika, you stream that. earlier now, don't you? Because you've moved. Well, I tried an early stream today, like at 10 a.m., um, which was mm -hmm. great. So trying to, because it's my day off work, try and like get up mm. in the morning so I'm not sleeping all day. Um, but yeah, my nighttime streams have turned earlier because there's a three hour difference between Perth and Melbourne, which yeah. is insane. Um, yeah. So it completely changes everything because that's a whole stream length. Like, it is. Totally. Yeah. So still yeah. finding my way in that um, mm. with, with stream times and what, what I can and can't do from Melbourne now because it's, yeah, even though it's three hours, it does change things quite a bit. So, mm. yeah. Amazing. Well, um, mm. check out her um, link tree. I've put it in the chat um, and you Thank can you. find all her links there. Uh, and, yeah, again, amazing to have you on. Uh, thank, thank you so much you. for coming. Uh, yeah, thank Shay, you for what are you up? What are you up to this week? More Masters goodness? Uh, yeah, but I won't think about it for a little bit. Um, oh, sorry. You know, there's an immediately an assessment in week two and I just don't. I oh. Just, yeah. Well, yeah, no, there's no chill. There's no chill. Di di diagnostic. Yeah. Yeah, I'm just going to cry. Um, but no, other than that, um, I'm I'm going to be using my streaming as a coping mechanism, as per usual. It's going to be fan-fucking-tastic. Um, as you guys know, I hold a big girl job during the day, and unfortunately that big girl job does mean that I have to hold in a lot of ADHD energy. Um, and so I get on stream, and I am chaos. So I'm going to use that chaos this week. Kraken. Oh, yes. <laughs> um, so yeah, no, this week, guys, as per usual, it's going to be a Sunday, Tuesday, Thursday stream. We have so much coming up in March. Holy crap. I've got like a community TFT uh, competition coming up, which we do every couple of months. And it's just such a bunch of fun. Everybody can enter, guys. It doesn't matter like what skill level. I don't care if you've never looked at it before. It's fine. Um, and then I've got my I've actually got my anniversary coming up for affiliate. Um, it is my That's four awesome. year. This is my four-year <gasps> affiliate anniversary. So Yay. I know I'm so excited. I don't know what to do for that, but it, 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 it exists. Something um, to do with the number four. A cupcake. Mm. I like <gasps> cupcakes. Four reckons. A balloon. Oh. Four. Maybe I just should get two more cats, you know, make it four. <laughs> I'm here for that plan. <laughs> one of them is a raccoon with whiskers it's fine um and then gosh after that it's uh obviously stardew valley the update is coming out yes. on the 19th mm. so you know we're starting a new save there i'm gonna have to see if i can rope in tika again um because that was wild last time <laughs> um so new map all that kind of thing and then later in the month i actually have a new release for my company um our new release of shirts is coming out so March is Exciting. kind of busy. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I had to release a roadmap on my Twitter for my for, for me. I needed to release a Shea roadmap for this month. That's insane. That's awesome. Congratulations what? on that because that's yeah. really cool. Thank yeah. you. Yeah, heck yeah. Get I'll it, Shay. I'll let you know if I survive. <laughs> <laughs> we'll come pick you up. It's fine. Please. We, uh, <laughs> bring yes. eggs. Totally. And booze. We'll bring cheese. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yes, and cheese. Oh my cheese god, we would wine. have the best. And we're back to the cheese. Ellie, uh, what are you up to this week? <laughs> Ellie's not hungry. Eating cheese, apparently. Um, <laughs> I think I might give Hell Divers a go. I, I won't use that as an oh, yeah. opening of another oh. topic. Maybe we'll discuss Hell Divers next week. Um, mm. But everyone's been ranting and raving, and I've had a little squiz um, on uh, a few of uh, my other friends playing it, and I'm getting harassed come play it so there's that um Love that. and yep. also uh the new Fortnite season yes it does start uh at the end of the week um oh. so i really look forward to that because controversially um the Fortnite queen hasn't been loving this current season um so i'm just mm. really hoping that it uh it gets better next season because it's a bit of an, a bit of an l this season i'm not gonna lie i'm not gonna lie so is that something that's I, happening in a lot of competitive games See, this season currently happening in league as well is is not a vibe is that just yeah. like competitive games at the moment it must be it must just be a a, a vibe that's just hit a lot of maybe mm. it's all these like um game uh, jobs getting oh, wiki wacky but um yeah maybe depressed. it's just a i think it's mm. just translating through the games perhaps but it's just not hitting mm. it and it's it, it's quite sad when your comfort game isn't isn't comforting you know yeah oh. so well, I'm, I'm high hopes High hopes for uh for next next stream with some cheese. Cheese. Don't tell Doom Cutie. Okay. Everyone's getting fired. <laughs> yeah, um, you'll find <laughs> uh, I'll be uh, doing a special announcement over on uh <laughs> across my socials. Yeah. Doom oh my Cutie's days. releasing uh their own kind of cheese. It's gonna be beautiful. <laughs> 
<laughs> well, no, I mean, people release coffee, you know. You could call the it coffee's been machines. done. Yeah, oh, no, 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 no. No? no. no. Well, okay, was that bad? No, we're not calling it that. I love it, Tika. I love it's. It's definitely in the maybe pile, but um, we're gonna maybe not keep pile. brainstorming. <laughs> no, the I, of the maybe. I did. I did. This is veering into something else now, but I did see. Um, is it Amaranth? She. Mm-hmm. Oh gosh. Her yeast. What, what is she up to now? No. What is she? No. You said the word yeast. yeast. What are you doing? Her yeast. For oh, beer. It takes oh. me a while. Okay. Cool. All right. But yeah. it's her yeast. No, oh. Nap, 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 oh, you, nap. You meant like her the, bacteria. Oh. Right. The womanly Good. bacteria. Um, anyway. Wow, I love so that. that is mean. actually a thing. Look, a squirrel. <laughs> oh, my <laughs> It's me. I'm the squirrel. Hello, everybody. <laughs> Did you see that? <laughs> oh, oh, my God. Oh, this has been – thank you so much, chat. Uh, you've been amazing. And if you're listening to this <laughs> and, not, and not seeing the facial expressions or the chat or you're very, you're probably very confused and I'm very – And and or lucky. <laughs> very Maybe sorry. Maybe you're alarmed. Look, we're all fine, okay? We're, <laughs> we're fine. This is fine. This is fine. <laughs> we, left, we left the rails. Like an hour oh, and ten minutes ago. I just, I just yeah. want to point this out, right? Chat is asking, "Can I unlearn that? Mm. Can we all? <laughs> uh, perhaps, perhaps a knock to the head will um, alter mm. your long term memory. Uh, I but um, it's, I think it's a short term you want to alter. We we could just distract ourselves with games, right? Love that. Yeah. Coping yeah. mechanisms. Let's go. Yeah. <laughs> the chat is too encouraging, and Shay and Pika are just like bouncing off each other and Ellie's joining in and I don't like it, okay? I will have order. (laughs) All right, lovelies, we will see you next week. Thank you so much for being here. Uh, Be good to one another and, um, yeah, game game safe and well. Bye. Bye, everyone. Bye. 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 Bye.